Hey guys, Levi Morgan here. This is the only broadhead, or was the first broadhead, to cut lungs, heart, the good stuff with brand new blades. See, with a swacker, it goes in the first rib cage, hide and everything, and opens on the inside. So it's cutting all the good stuff, and these blades have never touched bone, fat, fur, any of the stuff that we as hunters know dull your knife blades and is going to dull your broadhead. So that's the thing I love most about a swacker. See, most broadheads that are fixed are cut on contact, have to cut through that first bone and hide and fat just to get to the the lungs or the good stuff that you're trying to hit. And when you're doing that, you could be breaking blades, you're definitely dulling blades, and just making that animal live a lot longer than it should after impact. The Swacker Broadhead, in my opinion, is the most deadly head in the world, and I've killed almost every animal in North America with it. You need to give it a try, and I promise you're gonna love it. This is the Hydroshock by Ramcat Broadheads, and this is why you need this head. This broadhead is designed to fly exactly like a field point, so that means less time tuning and more time in the woods. The concave scoop allows body mass to be displaced over and around the broadhead, so you have increased entrance and exit wounds. We actually have back cut technology, so what this will allow the blades to do is pivot forward upon impact, and it'll actually cut on its way back out as the deer is moving. And you'll spend less time trying to track that animal. The Hydroshock by Ramcat Broadheads. So you want to know what it's like to flip the same light switch for 40 years, to design, cut, build, and assemble millions of broadheads, pink ones, silver ones, ones that open with ball bearings, and others that just cut like hell. So you want to know what it's like to wear a blue collar and grow a manly beard, to work on machines that get oil on your shirt and grit in your fingernails, to work on machines that spit out product with the precision of Hemingway's words. So you want to know what it's like to be made in America? So you want to know what it's like to push old buttons, to shovel snow during your lunch break, and to sweat over a product people love and trust. So you want to know what it's like to ship the beginning of someone's story, to be the place where it all started, to be the place that they trust. So you want to know what it's like to be made in Connecticut, where it's cold, creaky and old, where the sounds would make our forefathers proud and our enemies jealous. Here, people care and have a first name. Here, it's about products that matter and machines that we know how to fix. Here, it's oil and dirt and noises that fill your soul like music from a hymn. So you want to know what it's like to be built by America? So you want to know what it's like to build with your hands, to craft with your mind, and to reminisce with your soul? So you want to know what it's like to make the old new, to teach the young how to walk in the path of the old, and show someone the heritage that we have all grown to love? And that's what it's like to be built by America. Hype is sending out selfies when you should be practicing. Buzz is the sound of a thousand arrows in flight. Hype is a bunch of TV celebrities selling you gimmicks. Buzz is a long list of five-star reviews by average shows. Hype makes a splash. Buzz makes meat, sharpens up, and makes more meat. Hype is bought and paid for. Buzz is earned. Hype is here today, gone tomorrow. Buzz endures for decades. Hype is manufactured overseas. Buzz is made in America. Cut the hype.